The top-down template gives us a really quick and easy way of getting right into a game where the perspective is from the top down and we have no real control over the player. This is both mouse and touch based. It is VR ready for gaze look. It includes basic animations. It uses navigation or nav mesh based movement and we have no direct control over the player. We'll go ahead and run through this template and we'll see our player and we have a little circle following our cursor and that will basically be where we can go. We have both the ability to click and move as well as hold and have a follower cursor. And it also has limitations on where it can go to. For example, it'll go as close as it can to this target or if the target's too tall, it will ignore it as we can see here. Now, unlike your normal input, this is not inside of our character, but instead the controller controls the input and it basically sees where it's at based on the mouse, the gaze or the touch look and attempts to move there using a nav mesh. The nav mesh being this green mesh that identifies the walkable or movable parts inside of our map. Now if we were to use some pre-done assets and do a little bit of work, we might be able to get something simple like this. This is a Infinity Blade asset set and we're basically having kind of like a get to the end and survive through the traps. As you can see we have some fire traps that come up and when we walk over them we lose a little bit of life from the top. Traps are basically set to kill us. They have different amounts of durations and life and respawn abilities. We can put them wherever we want. You'll notice the character navigates wherever we're aiming to. It'll navigate around obstacles as well. Let's go ahead and wait for the fire to stop. We'll get through it. We will try to avoid the rest of the fire here. And we'll just navigate through. We have a few obstacles. We can go around anything. It of course will stop if it can't get to a point because it's using navigation meshes. And if we get to the end here, we just have a little screen that says we've escaped the fiery doom of fire. If we look at our map, when we pull up our nav mesh, you can see we have our navigatable areas. These of course could be cleaned up, but in a jam, we're just simply knocking these out quickly. And this defines where a player can go by using touch, gaze, or the mouse input. And this is a simple way of creating a top-down game using the top-down template.